you miss me. Who are you? You better tell me now. George. You... Who the hell are you? Can't you tell? Don't play dumb with me, love. I've lived through a lot and I'm not going to be fooled by some little girl. Now, you tell me who the hell you are right now. There's only a handful of people around here who know my first name. And sadly, I've always been one of them. But it can't be you. I buried you a year ago and you don't even resemble the Janice I last knew. She, she'd grown older. But it is me, George. Why come back? You must have a reason. Because I don't want you anywhere near me when you finally go. Well, now I know you're not Janice because she said she couldn't live without me. I heard her on our bed just... Just minutes before she died. Yes, that's right, you did. But what did you do not long after I passed? You phoned Daisy. Yes, yes I did, but how do you know? Swinging twins. How sweet. Our favourite band. On the anniversary of my death. Didn't we dance to this at our wedding? I thought so. It's a shame those memories are now tainted. Well, nobody else knew apart from me and Daisy. There's, there's no way you could have known. Remember, George, I'm not the only resident in the afterlife. Oh yes, I know, but there's no one, no one else has got a reason. Wait, are we talking about Jack? He did that toffee-nosed bastard. He always looked down on me and tried to steal you away. Yes, I know that, and I wish he'd done it sooner. At least he cared for me enough to know that I deserve to know the truth. But how did he find out? I mean, I haven't seen him since our school days. You can't hide secrets in the afterlife. We can see any point in history up there. And that's what Jack did. He wanted to learn more about my life, and by doing that, he discovered what you did with Daisy. And unlike you, he deserves my love. What, so you two are a thing now? Yes. Oh, well. Never mind, George. You could always phone Daisy up again. But that was the old me. Would I be playing Swinging Twins if I didn't still love you? Daisy wouldn't even speak to me that night. I, I could never understand why. She, But she insisted that she'd moved on and, and I didn't continue pursuing her. Would I still be living here alone in our home if I'd resumed things with Daisy? Because you feel guilty. It's like the old saying goes. Don't know what you have until it's gone. If you truly loved me, you never would have hired that skinny little tart. Oh, one last thing. Jack saw Daisy writing something a couple of days ago. Initially, she ripped it up straight away. 
like I said, secrets don't remain secret in the afterlife. My dearest George, by the time you read this, it will be too late and I'll be long gone. I truly love you and loved every second we spent together. But the one thing I could never escape is the overwhelming guilt I feel for Janice. Don't come looking for me when you finally go. I'm sure Janice will be the first person to greet you. Janice. Janice, please. I'm sorry. 